talking about periodicity. And I'll be talking about expressions like atomic radii. The best working definition of an atomic radii comes about when you take two atoms of the same element adjacent to one another and you measure the separation between them. So if you have something in its elemental form and you measure the separation between the nuclei of those two atoms, then that distance is twice the atomic radii. The atomic radii decrease from left to right in the periodic table. As you add protons, the nuclear charge increases. But as you add electrons, there is some shielding of other electrons occurring, but not enough to compensate for the increasing nuclear charge. So what happens as you move from left to right across the periodic table, because of this shielding factor, is the effective nuclear charge increases. Effective nuclear charge increases from left to right across the periodic table. Because effective nuclear charge is such a powerful concept and it explains so much of the periodicity of the patterns that we see in the periodic table. It's slightly easier to understand perhaps what happens as you go down a group in the periodic table. As you go down a group in a periodic table, you are increasing the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number gives the energy of that shell, and so the higher in energy the shell is, the further away from the nucleus. Okay, so you see an increase in atomic radii as you go down a group, and you see a decrease as you go left to right. Now, let's talk about another property. We've discussed atomic radii, let's discuss ionization energy. Well, ionization energy is the, or the first ionization energy, is the energy required to remove an electron from a gas phase atom. That's the first ionization energy. The second ionization energy would be the energy required to remove an electron from a monocation in the gas phase. Ionization energies decrease down a group because the principal quantum number is increasing. The principal quantum number is the energy of those electrons. Ionization is removing an electron from an atom or ion to infinity, taking it away entirely. As more protons are added to the nuclei, the nuclear charge increases. Of course, we're also, as we're going from left to right, adding more electrons, that those electrons are not so good at shielding each other. So it's the same concept. We've already explained that the effective nuclear charge increases from left to right across the periodic table. If the effective nuclear charge is increasing from left to right across the periodic table, the electrons are feeling more nuclear charge, they're being held closer, and they're being held more strongly by the atom, so it requires more energy to remove them. Ionization energies increase from left to right across the periodic table because the effective nuclear charge is increasing from left to right across the periodic table. Now, there is one point that's worth mentioning here. Those elements with one valence electron in an outer shell are most easily ionized. So if you have a, an element which has just one electron in its outer shell, that element has a relatively low ionization energy. Now what you find in chemistry um, is that the electron configurations, so the closed shells or if you like open shells associated, um, completely open shells associated with noble gases, are favorable configurations. What you find is that often you have very high electron affinities by the time you get to the right-hand side of the periodic table, which means that it becomes favorable to add an electron and achieve a noble gas electron configuration. And on the left-hand side of the periodic table, those ionization energies are relatively low, so it's relatively easy to remove an electron and to get to a noble gas-like configuration. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about electron affinity. Let's remind ourselves what electron affinity is. Electron affinity is the energy released when an electron is attached to an atom or ion. There is this wonderful concept of effective nuclear charge. An effective nuclear charge increases as we go from left to right across the periodic table. The stronger the nuclear charge, the more favorable it's going to be to add an electron. 
And electron affinities, we just began to say, really mirror some of the trends that you've seen for ionization energy, essentially for the same reasons. So it won't surprise you that electron affinities decrease as you go down a group. And, of course, they increase from left to right for the reasons that we talked about earlier, effective nuclear charge. The effective nuclear charge is increasing from left to right, so the pull of the nucleus on electrons, and indeed additional electrons, increases from left to right, and so we see an increase in electron affinity. Let's have a look at some ionic radii. Neutral atoms are much bigger than their cations. Why is that? Well, of course, we're removing that outermost electron. So what do the following ions have in common with atomic neon? They have the same number of electrons. 